And now we'd like to welcome Tim from the Rochester Museum and Science Center to the show. Hey, Tim, how are you? Hey, doing? guys, Hi, how are we doing? Some beautiful jewelry you got there. So yes, what is this? yes. <laughs> this is my. This is the ball python. All right. Okay. Now, where is a snake found in, in the wild, and what type of habitat does it live in? Well, you'll find him in. It's indigenous to Western and Central Africa, and you'll find him in what they call savannas, which are basically grasslands that are tropical, subtropical, oh. and agricultural areas because what they do is they really are very helpful because they go around and they eat a lot of rodents. Gotcha. So you'll, oh. you'll find them in farms all the time in that area. But now you'll find them quite often in people's homes yeah. as pets, okay. one of the most popular pets. So I got kind of two, though. Ball python, why is it called that? And how long is um, your snake going to get as a full-grown snake? Well, this is why they call him a ball python. Ah, okay. <laughs> it looks like a ball. Because right. what he does is... He'll turn around when he feels threatened or he's just hanging out, and he'll wrap himself around so that his internal organs are buried underneath a lot of his body. Gotcha. You can get, he can get bit here and here, and it won't bother him, but sure. he protects his internal organs this way. Gotcha. And this is a male, so he'll get to be about four feet long. Okay. They're average. They, they have grown to six feet, but the males will stay right around four feet or so. A female's a little bit longer. Okay. Now, what makes a snake different from others, and is this snake harmful? Well, he's harmful if you're a rodent. Okay. Right. If I'm you're not. a little mouse, <laughs> right. you're a little mouse or a furry little creature. Forget it. Right. He is, he's, he's harmful. He's a constrictor. Sure. Not, he's non-venomous, which means he, he isn't, isn't a bite. He grabs a hold, and then he'll wrap around until his prey is, is ready to be eaten, and uh, he turns around. The thing that makes him pretty cool is the fact that he's really a super docile snake. He's on the shed right now, so everyone's going, oh, he's shedding. But that's all right. Even though he's 17 years old, wow. he's still growing. Wow. And they'll continue to grow until they die. All right. Wow. And when they do, they shed, and he just got over, he's just getting over his shed now. They also call him the royal python. Because as legend has it, Cleopatra used to wear baby ones around oh, her arms. As, uh, very cool. It That's was cool. like uh, living jewelry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the, uh, the your style basic of the age. style. That's exactly it. The I bling, wouldn't wear one. <laughs> bling for the uh, cradle of civilization. All right. So you already kind of said that uh, the ball python they they curl into a ball to protect themselves. What about the coloration? What does that do? It, that's more for camouflage. Okay. Now, is that help for protection as well, or more just to stay? Pretty much so, because, well, his, for predators, when they're young, they can be attacked by a lot of different things. Gotcha. Oh, the hyenas, dogs, and whatnot. Older, these guys still, they'll, they'll be attacked by birds of prey or larger mammals, even in Africa, even lions. Tree livers or them. ground livers? Ground? Uh, he's a very good climber. Okay. Very good climber. So he'll climb, and he'll go wherever the food is. All right. So, he's, so he could wrap himself around a branch as sure. well. Oh, really? They're, they're super great climbers. He, okay. and, uh, and Snake here loves to, we take them out in the summertime and we'll hang them up in the tree, especially because the tree bark is so rough. You see how the oh, yeah, skin is coming off? off his, uh -huh. He scrubs off the, oh, the skin. Oh, that's a good idea. And no two pythons are the same for the pattern. They're, they're very unique. So it's pretty cool. And if you ever get close enough to see the pupils, yep. the non-venomous snakes have round pupils and the venomous snakes have more of a slotted look ah, to it good. but if you're that close, that close to look. you're that close already you're, you're too close okay. now um he, as it, since he is shedding for our viewers um how how long do, how frequently does he shed and how long does it normally take well this guy he has a little bit of trouble shedding always had for really? his whole life they shed a couple three times a year probably okay. and it all goes by because this guy, he's just coming off of the winter yeah. anorexia, mm. or winter, he goes for a couple of months without eating. Sure. So, but he'll still shed, in the, in, which is really kind of a, an enigma. Counter, yeah, right. Why because are you shedding? Because you're not eating. You're not eating. Right. But he'll still shed in the middle of the winter. Right now, he, I think the last time I fed him was November. Right. Wow. And well, you try. You sit there yeah. and you, because he eats. Entice in there like he nope. eats thawed not out. You, a lot of people think go oh, live. Live mice, but right. oddly enough, live, live mice fight for their life, so you, you get a lot of damage to sure. the snake. So you usually just buy, uh, buy frozen mice yep, and then and you thaw them out, out. <coughs> and then he goes to town. Nice. 
Very cool. Um, Tim, thank you. Yeah, thanks, yeah, Tim. Yeah, he's really cool. All he right. is cool. Now, if you would like to learn more about the Rochester Museum and Science Center and see other videos about animals, visit our website, homeworkhotline.org. And now, stay right there. We'll be back in a second.